All right, welcome, Jane Sa. And welcome, Janet. Um, all right, I'm, <clears throat> I'm here. All right. Well, hi here. How are you? <laughs> hey, Herbie. How are you? I'm good. How about you? I'm good. Oh, nice job on your uh, Zoom the other day. Mm, thank you. Zoom presentation. Hey, Herb. What's up, Not much. My former Mac, my Mac man. Your not Mac former, man. not former, but current. <clears throat> Us Mac people should get together and do yep. this more often. Even you know, it'd be cool, right, to get like the Mac Geek guys. Like, uh, do you ever listen to them? Uh, no, but that would be cool to get them on here. You know. Uh... Yeah, like. Dave Hamilton and John Brown, they're pretty good. Pretty good. Welcome, Kim. Hello. Uh, is this going to be on the replay? Yes. Okay. And so then what are we... Oh, wait. It's the same how you always do it, right? Yep. Just so... Different day. Nope. I always do this nope. every other... Thir well, um, this club, it's every other Thursday, and the other Thursdays, it's on the ACB club. So. I gotcha, 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 gotcha. <clears throat> <clears throat> you guys are all right from the ice storm. Did you get any ice in Houston? No, we did no. not. Okay, good, good. We didn't. I mean, I'm, I'm in uh, Louisiana, so we didn't get we didn't get much. That's good at all. But I know Texas got hit pretty hard. Yep. The, all right, so Jainsa is our practice uh, streamer today, and uh, so, um, so do you have your audio hijack ready to go? Yes. Excellent. All I gotta do is press the run button, but uh. Yep. Uh, well, but I'll have you press it a little bit closer to when we actually start. So. How much is that whole bundle? Is it still? Uh, is there still a bundle for those three? I, what three? I got them separately. I know there's uh, Fizz and Fargo, and is it Lupac? Mm -hmm. um, or is I, it Hijack too? Because I can't remember. They have different which bundles. ones are bundled. Yeah, yeah. There was a podcasting bundle. Yeah, there, there like was four things, but. I only used two out of the. <laughs> so. Yeah, I got loop back, and I don't have hijack yet. I should get it. I should get it. They were on sale. Sometimes. Oh. Uh, on sale. Um. Whoa, whoa. How much is it now? But you know, Rogue Amoeba, they put something on sale quick. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> we're going to Hyper Ion One. 
open. I got any more coffee. Sounds like I need more sleep. That too. But. <laughs> I think I'm going to break my record today. I only do one to two cups. I think I'm going to do a third. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. I mean, as long oh, as you're wow. not flying off the walls. <laughs> no. It's only if I have like three Cokes or three Pepsis or something. Houses on houses on Club Decker is weird. Like I looked at it and it was weird. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I yeah, I it's strange, I know. Oh. It's a nicer it, to say. Does Jane sound a little quiet to y'all? Because she sounds a little quiet to me. Just a little bit. Okay. Um, so I'm glad it's not me. A little bit. I can go a little bit. Higher, I guess. Oh, that's I got better. Wordle in six. So. Me too. And that's just better. like everybody else, it was that fourth letter because, you know, I got the correct combination by guess number three. Yeah, I think I had the correct combination in guess number two. But it so, took... Yeah. Okay. What is Wordle and what is this puzzle thing that everybody seems to talk about every morning <laughs> well let's talk about that when we get started <laughs> right right all right well, do why don't we so. go ahead and see why don't we go ahead and jane why don't you push the magic button all righty and it should say session running Okay, so Zoom opened up, and let's see. That's open. Um, Zoom doesn't need to open up, but okay. Oh, wait, now I'm echoing. Yep. Okay, well, that's a good sign. At least it, it's recording, if nothing else. Let's see. Okay, I don't want it I, to record, though. That's no, right. that's right. We just had Zoom doesn't need to open up, but okay. Let's see. Yep. Okay, well, that's a good sign. At least it, it's oh, recording, if okay. nothing else. I Let's see. We are connected. So. Okay, yeah, we're definitely connected. Oh, cool. We're hearing the delay factor of. Yeah, I just realized delay. that you guys were hearing my VLC and I was not. All right. You did it. Nice. Congratulations, Jane, sir. All right, we are officially on the air, and uh, good job, Jane. <laughs> yes, and you'll be a streamer in no time, and yeah. Yep. So the next thing we'll do is we'll figure out an ACB call for you to stream. So I will um, talk to you more about that later. But all right, so we got a practice streamer today, Jane Su, who uh, hails from uh, California, A. But we don't hold that against her, guys. You know. We need those Californians to export their sun, and uh, all hey, that. I lived in Cal I love California. All right. I'd live back there if I could, but it's I know expensive. You. I don't know that that place is a little shaky to me. What can I say? <laughs> but uh, we need it for Apple and uh, no, man, no. <laughs> Jeez. Mm, 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 anyway. Mm. <laughs> Give me a good old fashioned hurricane. You know when those are coming. You can prepare Absolutely. for them. You cannot prepare for an earthquake. Earth nope, nope, no. nope, nope. One earthquake I experienced in Washington State, I thought the ground would open up a big hole and swallow me up. 
Hey, Katrina, Katrina was the word. I mean, we can go to that another day, but that's... Yeah. Man. Oof. But to be fair, the the only thing I'll say about Katrina is, unfortunately, you know, if uh, New Orleans had uh, maybe built up its levees, it might not have been so bad. But, yep, uh, yep. And you know, we so said that, that as kids when we were coming up. Yep. So that, you know, that was, again, bad preparation didn't help the situation. Right. So No, no, no. And, but you can also prepare for a hurricane by making sure, you know, if you live in a place like New Orleans... It's not a good place to be. Now, Houston, let me tell you, that is a good place to be during a hurricane because we are inland, but you do not want to live in Galveston. Mm -hmm. So. Well, well, I'm north of New Orleans, so it's not that bad. Yeah. But, yeah. All right, enough of that. We're here to talk about the Mac, believe yep. it or not. Yep. <laughs> and uh, we've got several things that we can definitely talk about. Uh, first of all, so... Um, for anybody that cares right now, the uh, Mac Pro, which is the big Mac, the really, really big Mac, like it's so big that it has wheels, is currently not slated, it looks like, to get the newer uh, processors. Mac still relies on the good old Intel for that. So if you were thinking about getting a Mac Pro, which you probably not, because you're probably not like a movie producer or anything like that, then... Um, it's really doesn't affect you much, but j j I don't know who's listening to this replay. So, um, may I interrupt these announcements for another announcement? What do you want? I mean, yes. Yeah. Did you see your broadcasters thing? And are you able to help? I did not see our broadcasters thing. When do they need help? And I will go 7 take a look. 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, let's see. Or yeah, because. Hold on. I know. I don't know how many of the broadcasters are actually on here, but. Yes. Okay. I can't. I've got eight. I'm in Mac well, Bites with Bits, so. Good thing I can't, but I wanted to go to Mac Bites with Bits. <laughs> and, well, you could. If that other thing is only an hour, I don't then you might be able to come to it. Well, it depends. If I'm not moderating, if I'm just broadcasting, then I can go to Back with Bits, back Bites with Bits. Because that's at 8 Eastern, right? Yes. And Bell said 7 Eastern. Whatever. Anyway, I just wanted somebody to be aware of it. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. So I'm waiting to find out if I'm moderating on that one or if I'm just broadcasting. Okay, yeah, so that is at 7 Eastern. All right, so we'll be shutting down this thing early. So, uh, well, not too early, but like a little bit earlier than we normally would. So I can go get ready for Zoom. So uh, so basically, which is something that I do use my Mac for, by the way, is that most of us that are connectors now do, is we use good old Loopback to connect Zoom and Clubhouse. So, and... Um, all right. Enough on that. Does anybody actually have any questions for us today? And. Okay, so I'm broadcasting and moderating. All right. Um. So I know, we, Jane, uh, you wanted to know what Wordle is then, correct? Uh-oh, did we lose you? Anyway, here. <laughs> okay. So, yes. Yeah, what is, everybody, every morning everyone seems to... Oh, this is Janet. Yes. Uh, Wordle is like crossword. Oh. Puzzle. In... Oh, no. Not quite. Not quite? Oh. No. Wordle... Well, some kind of a puzzle, isn't it? It is a puzzle, but I wouldn't call it a crossword puzzle, because crosswords, you have multiple things. So, Wordle is a thing put out by the New York Times. It is accessible. Just search for uh, New York Times Wordle in your uh, Google, or whatever search engine you use. And then you will uh, find it, and um, you can play it. So with the Mac, what I do is, um, unfortunately, I already guessed the word, or otherwise I'd just show you how to play it in real time. So you're presented with a grid, 
and of and you've got so you get six guesses to guess a five letter word and so for each uh, thing you've got to uh, row one and uh, what i try to do is kind of like arrow down into it so i can actually type in the thing and hit enter and it'll tell me which letters are present which letters are not and which letters are correct and then you can kind of via right over to uh, row two and repeat the process and um it's uh, pretty straightforward to do on the mac and i guess it is on windows i honestly have not used it on the uh, windows that much to be honest with you but uh, i know they've made it accessible like universally nor the iphone for that matter and um so, so the, yes uh, this is kim i've been looking for it and i guess i'm i didn't know you had to go in on the search engine so when i go to safari what do i type in in the search wordle w-o-r-d-l-e okay and that's all no dot com or anything like that no because okay. that's not the actual link search engines are one of the most unutilized right underutilized yeah. tool and you just type it from the address bar mm. yep yeah okay yep so that remember with browsers now one of the nice things and this was kind of a novel well i guess you could always do this but you can you don't need to go to google or whatever you can just go to your address bar and just type in the thing you want to search for okay yeah um so so, so brett go, well, go ahead what well, could you i know this is a computer program but could you just explain a little bit like you were about how do you play? How do you guess letters? And I know family Herbie. members have played it. What? If you want to demo Wordle, you could actually do. You, do you have your stats linked up to a New York Times account? I don't remember. Okay. Well, it would work either way. If you want to either clear your all your internet history and cache, you know, you go to the menu bar go to safari go down to clear history then you should be able to play it without losing your um you'd have to re-log into the new york times the next time you want to play it and have it count for real but you could just play it to demo or i could try to well i can let's see if on. i can clear my history so so i want to clear my history for the last hour that when I don't you do know that, if... do the results do they stay or, or like oh, the... I would I would have cleared all your history. Well, I don't know if it'll. Well, we're gonna find out. Hold on, hold right. on, hold mm -hmm. on. Because that would be really bad if you guessed all of the words correctly. And he... <laughs> <laughs> like... Yeah, no, it'll if it's if he's logged into a New York Times account and they in the stats screen there is a a link that says log in link to log it or to create a free account and then you can also all right that. so i do have a clear thing okay all right so you may he probably didn't create a new york times account because i don't so think nope. those results are going to be 50 percent, 45 percent, 40 percent okay so but Safari. he doesn't play it every day Safari. <laughs> All right, so I've got a grid here. Endo, settings, but statistics, and row one, group. So here's, so basically just, you via right to where it says row one, group. Empty, top, empty, top, empty, 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 and So you can hear all these empty tiles. These are where your letters go. Tile. And you can go further down and you can type in, punch in letters from the keyboard, but I don't do that. So you do have to give it a valid word. So if I give it Meaning there is a keyboard further down on the screen. Yes. That's what he's, you punch in. Uh, okay. on but I don't, I, I don't use that anymore now that it's, I, I okay, really don't Okay, but you're it. still punching in letters on your yes. physical you still have to keyboard. Type the letters on a so if I do an invalid key. word. word. Okay. Empty, tile, not enough letters. Oh, don't give me that. U -A -D -I -O, not in word list. See, that's not in word list. Em 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 empty. But if I type in a word that right. is valid. And, but you had to backspace all of that. Uh, yes, I was going to explain that. I had to backspace. To erase the letters, and now I'm going to type in a, a valid -I -O. word. A U D I O. A press U D I O absent. 
And so, notice it told me a present, you absent. And if I didn't catch all that, well, I can just use my VO right arrow keys. I absent, tile, you a present. Or in this case, go left to the beginning. A present, tile. And I can see the A is present. You absent, tile. There's no U. The absent, tile. There's no I. I absent, tile. O absent, tile. There's no O. End up, row to empty, empty, tile. So now I've got to guess a different word that, and it has to be a legitimate word. So I'm going to think that, well, we know that the letter has to have an A in it. So I'm going to do, um, S T E A M Mike S T E press up M absent. So notice it told me that S, T is correct. Tile. S is correct. Ooh, I T got T in the tile. correct spot. T is in the right spot. E present. Tile. Oh, uh, there is an E in here, but it's in the wrong spot. A present. Tile. Uh, a is there, but it's still in the wrong spot. M absent. Tile. M is absent. And dot em empty. Tile. So I'm going to pick a different word. Um, S T A G E. Let's do this. S T correct. G correct. Impressive. Oh. You got it. That's <laughs> Whoa. But see, Herb, if you it. actually look at the stats modal, it won't have saved them. Heading one. No. Play so 100. Cut, win percent. How do you save these? You have to create an account. Loop and it'll... Oh. So there's a, okay. if you actually go to the stats button before you start playing, and there's a link there that once you go in there, it'll say um, link for, you know, to create a free account. And you do that. And then you'll be able to keep track of, you know, your streak and, and how many you've gotten and different things. Okay. Your guest distribute it. You're, like, for me, four is the most amount of times guesses it's taken me to get a word. Um, I've only maybe gotten two or three words in two and, it's you know, five, whatever. So it'll give you those stats. No, it's Eric, I it reminds me of lingo. <laughs> oh, I thought yeah. the computer already had like a word in mind and you were trying to guess what word it was thinking of. Right. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. It's a uh... Harvey, what are you having the computer remind you of? That I'm connecting Abby's call on Yeah, Clubhouse? but that's not till se it's, it won't be till 5:42. You said yeah, 1642. Yeah, right. Computer, cancel reminder. Hmm? No, she said it. No, it's at 1642. It's 1542. Yep, computer, stop. I'll fight with Alexa later. You're good. You got 45 minutes to kill after this. Yeah. No. Either way, I'm connecting it at some point, whenever it exists. Oh. Chanel's got an hour 45 to kill. Yep. Um, all right, so yeah, I'm connecting and moderating, which is unfortunate because I will be missing Mike, Mac Bites. And, no, uh, you oh, no, you won't. It's 7 Eastern. You'll be done. It, no, you'll be done in time. Oh, Mac Bites is in time. Okay. Eight, okay. Mac Bites is 8 Eastern. It's 8 Eastern. Oh, correct. See, if everybody did things in Central Time, it would be less no, confusing. No, just, just think in Eastern Time and stop trying to convert, and your life will be a heck of a lot easier. I'm a Western guy. I was born in the West. I, I, I don't think about East. No, well, then, actually. Well, I, do, I am in Pacific. And so add three like, hours and subtract hours. one. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, on that note... So, so, so uh, anybody have a, another Mac-related question? Yeah, how do you stop this echoing from happening? Uh, you don't. Oh, that oh, thro so threw me off, even though Herbie warned me about it. When I had to talk on a or something call the other day, I was still thrown off. You know it. what you do? You thank the Lord that you're not on Windows, because I can assure yes. you that the delay on Windows is a lot worse. Just oh, mute your mic and don't talk, and it'll be okay. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Just shut up. <laughs> yep. That's it. It's actually, a good, it, you know, it's really, it, it actually sometimes, I mean, I've gotten so used to the echo, it's unnerving. Like today, I was connecting Zoom and Clubhouse, and I didn't hear there's myself. No yeah, there's no echo, and I didn't hear myself like, wait a minute, is anything wrong? Oh, no, I'm just not streaming, that's well, all. I so. decided, yeah, it's like a little confirmation that you are streaming. Exactly. Well, at least um, you're attempting to stream. Yep. Okay. 
embrace it. <laughs> so yeah, it's um a confirmation thing, you know. I guess this is Eric. Th- yes. Uh, I'm surprised that they pulled the intonation of uh, like in a voiceover rotor with the voice and speech thing. Really? Yeah, when they did, actually pulled it. Oh, well, they did. When do, I like right. the intonation. When you do VO command shift mm-hmm. arrows. Mm-hmm. No, he's right. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. I like the intonation. I think it's, well, it's just as well <laughs> considering the fact that it broke, I think, with Ventura anyway. It did but, break. Yeah. Uh, so that's probably when did they why. remove it? Just in the last update or in the beginning yeah, of the Yeah, I think the last, last update. update. Yeah. Perhaps. Interesting. I've been using a Mac now for 10 years. I've never changed my intonation. Hey, but I still have it on Catalina, it. so that's good. Oh, of course you do. I've never <laughs> yeah. changed my intonation either. I didn't even notice it was missing. Had this update for a few weeks now. Didn't even know it was missing until yeah. somebody pointed it exactly. out. So. All right. I hadn't even right. noticed it. No, oh, because I, right. so I used to read. I used to read stuff with Alex on like 100 percent intonation. It was hilarious. So why don't you actually explain? Because I've never fully understood this one. What exactly does the intonation? What is it supposed to do? No, it just makes it more exciting. <clears throat> I mean, it, yeah. As no. remember, Herbie, my formal definition for the class is the amount of expression voiceover uses when right. reading or any right. screen reader. It's right. Yep. See, I use the with pitch. That's different. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, see, guys, if you do like I do, you know, just do like I do and you'll be fine. You won't get hurt. <laughs> right. um, if you use Siri Voice 4, you will find oh. her very bright mm. and very Ugh. good She's and expressive. I can't take it. I don't like it. I don't like I don't it either. I don't like it either. I love it. Yeah, I know. Hey, man, I, I've, been, I I've been Alex Mann since 08. So, I've yeah. Been Ava. Alex Mann since the beginning. Yeah. I like Alex on the Mac and mm-hmm. I stick with Samantha on the iOS device. Oh, really? I do use Alex on my iPad, which I hardly ever use. But mm. Alex just does not sound right on the iPhone. It's just my head goes, what? Mm. Al- I do agree with you that Alex <coughs> does not sound right on the iPhone. It's different than on the Mac. It's just not quite the same. Mm-hmm. Yes, I can tolerate. If I had to use Alex on the Mac, I could, but on the phone, no. Yes. And Chanel, I forgot like, that I didn't make you a mic. Like eloquence on a Mac, it just isn't right. No, it is not. But then, to be fair, I stopped using eloquence with Jaws once the uh, they had oh, better that's true too. support yeah, for sounds... the uh, extra voices. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sounds like shoot. Now, now they got Jaws. vocalizer. Don't they have it included now? Yeah. Yep. Included for oh, really? Versions. Oh, nice. Yep. To okay. Add them, nice. Download them and add them anymore. Oh, that's nice. But you still have to go to the thing and select your voice you want. But you don't have to go sure. to the Freedom website and download it. You can do oh, it from goodness, within yeah. JAWS. Oh, goodness. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> very good. All right. So intonation is gone. It's gone. 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 And I think I I don't I haven't checked this yet because we have too many Apple TVs and my mom's you know I don't want to bug her. Um, I think they fixed the system setting sound changing. They bump, did right? yes. Okay. That they did fix. Okay, that's good. So it's now accessible once again to choose your default audio output. They'd kind of broken it a little bit with they did. the first instances of Ventura, but it is now mm-hmm. fixed again. So. That's good. Um, yep. That's good. That's good. You should have no problems there. Good. And we have several people or a couple people in the audience. Um, yep. Thanks for listening, Merle and Patrick. And uh, thanks, Merrill, for joining us on stage. And Brad just came in, so just wanted to acknowledge people. Brad just came in? Brad's Well, not just what? came in. He came yeah. in a little. Just, I meant he's to say he came since in. Since the beginning. Yeah. Yes, since the beginning. Meryl's been on stage. Mer- Meryl's been taking the clubhouse like a fish does to water. It's uh, yeah, been really so good. I hear. Yep. It's... And this is one of the rare... I never thought I'd ever get the meryl Merrill combination in my uh, club today, but... Uh... <laughs> Uh, just think, if you two had known each other earlier in life and you decided to get married, you know, people would have so much fun. It's Marilyn Merle. What? Merle uh, Merle? Really? No, Marilyn Merle. What? 
I don't know. Anyway. It's painful. Nobody knows. Yeah, so what is this program that Darcy is going to talk about? I mean, I know it would be better to go to an act, and well, we will be listening, oh, some of us, but. It is called Bunch, and it is a little way of making, like, automated routines. Oh. And it's a lot simpler than Automator, but he demonstrates hmm. how, thank you for the plug, by the way. Uh, You're welcome. He demonstrates how you can write a little basic routine. Mm -hmm. uh, he shows how when he sets one up for his podcast, he tells it to do things like open text edit to a blank document so he can take notes, um, turn uh, closed mail so he doesn't have um, alerts going off. Um, oh, nice. Turn on a focus mode. So that he doesn't have other annoying sounds to it. And there's several things he does when he gets ready to do his podcast. And then when he's done, he's got one that undoes everything and puts it back to normal. And he does a little demonstration of how to write this thing. You um, Okay. And then it lives in the um, system menu, formerly known as Menu Extras. It's about a 20-minute recorded demo. Nice. So well, if you have it, you can play it for us right now. No. Mac Bytes tonight on, on uh, Blind Information Technology. If you get the ACB Community Calendar, it's uh, in e daily emails. It's in there tonight at 8 Eastern. We'll open the show with a little discussion of some Mac news and rumors. We actually have new Macs to discuss briefly. Then we'll do the demo, and then we'll take questions from participants, and hopefully All right. we'll have questions instead of and, <laughs> and, and, and so, Brad, D, are you going to go with the, one of the nice, shiny, shiny new um, Mac minis with the M2 processor, or how about a good old-fashioned Mac Pro that still uses an Intel chip? Uh, the oh. Mac Pros, we'd, you know, it's a little bit beyond the scope of, uh, I, mean, I don't know anybody but Pixar that buys those, so. So, but the Mac, the Mac Mini is very exciting. You got the uh, M2 <laughs> and the uh, M2 Pro Mac Mini. It's really yeah. Our friend Desi's very, getting the M2. That's what we hear. She actually, well, she got it the other night. She actually made the purchase. Mm. So yep, and she's actually going with the 16 gigs of RAM. So was, I'm so proud of her. Good for I her. Think, you know, it's um, I looked at it today because I was trying to review the specs. Uh, I think it's. 300 bucks it's a chunk of change to go from 8 to 16 but if you're going to keep it's the worth thing it a while, yeah i had my first mac mini for eight years and i was glad that at, i was glad that um am i there yes oh good all of a sudden my mac started talking i thought did it get <laughs> me um I was glad that I got it. You know, my first one was the 2012. I was glad I got it. At the time, eight eight gig of RAM was all it would do, and a one terabyte hard drive. I was glad I did it. It served me very well. So um, these things will stick around a while. Yeah, and we. The only, only reason I got rid of it was the spinning hard drive was going bad, uh, and it was time to replace it. But. We still have my 2012, and we did update the memory in it a couple, several years ago um, to 16, because it may have only came with eight. So, yeah, we updated, and it's still sticking around. It's bare, it's hanging on. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, All right. So I know we have some more people on stage. So does who else has any uh, questions for us today? Yeah. Hey, this is Kim again. Yes. Um, I have tried one time to, um, to put Zoom on my Mac. I have it on my iPhone, but I don't have it on my Mac. Mm -hmm. And what it does is it, it tells me that first I have to download something called Rosetta, something like that. I already know what you're doing oh, wrong. Okay. You need to download the M1 version of Zoom. M1. Okay. Go, oh, if she if has M1. Go to yeah. zoom.us forward slash download. 
We don't have to worry about Rosetta on our it end. Knows, it knows which yep. operating system and things oh. you're using. And there are two choices. Right up front is one that says download for Mac OS. If you navigate just past it, you'll see another link that says do download for Apple Silicon. And that's what you want. Oh. Uh. Now, did you already install the one for... No, I I backed out of that and and went, you know, yeah. like okay, yeah, something wrong. Work. Okay, want to work just fine, but you might as well get the one for Apple Silicon, if you have an M1 or M2 Mac. I'm trying to think if I got the M2, or if it's the M1. It's it doesn't matter. It, well, it doesn't matter. It, 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 a, it's the M1. B about this Mac, and it'll tell you. Okay, so what's the uh? Address I go to to zoom.us zoom slash download forward slash download and it'll save you going to if you go to zoom.us and navigate around you'll find a link for downloads but if you mm. just do a slash download slash. Or downloads okay. I can't remember if it's got an S or not on the end I think it is downloads it is download um, actually I was there with an S or no no with a no I was no there S. no yeah. S okay. just download okay yep. Yeah, and it'll take you right to it. And there's a, for sighted people, there's a big button in the middle of the screen to click on. But if you navigate VO command J, it'll take you right to that button. Then VO uh -huh. right arrow. The next thing is download for Apple Silicon, something like that. Okay. Okay, great. Even on an Intel? What if she has an Intel? Hmm? Well, she, well, she doesn't, then, but if she did, well, it would... It, then you just get the one, oh. the main one. Yep. Okay, so then with that downloaded, I will be able to get on the Zoom uh, yep. community yeah, call it install it first. on my computer. It'll, it'll yep. put it in your downloads folder. You just open it, install it. Now, beware the first time you run it, uh, your Mac is Mac security is going to ask you to allow it access to, I think your microphone. microphone. Oh, it's going to ask you to allow oh. access to a couple of things. Yeah. 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 And if you ever do screen share, it's going to ask you for more permissions. So do those oh, things nice. in advance because it may, once you grant it permissions, it's going to make you restart the app. Ah, okay. So, so can I, can I add this? Instead of putting it in a, another folder, can I add it to my stock? No, uh, well, no. First, you have Not to necessary. download it. It'll be in yeah. the downloads folder. Right. You have to go to downloads, and you have to run the installer. Okay? Oh, okay. And, and it will install it because it is a PKG file, not a DMG, if I'm not ah. mistaken. I and it will yeah. install it. And it will be in your applications folder. If you want to add it to your dock, you open the applications folder using Command Shift A. Right. Navigate to the Zoom. Zoom. App or whatever it's called. Right. And now, with focus on that, you hold down com Control Command Shift and press the letter T, and it will put an item on your dock on your dock yeah i have to i have to look that one up every time because it's it's right. really tricky with the fingers <laughs> so the other thing i was going to mention is that so us intel users we do not have to worry about rosetta so that's how i already knew just from okay. what she was describing that it was an m uh the the newer mac and not the uh, intel so that's how i already knew wow. okay yeah all right, very good. Thank you. All right, who has our next question? Well, just something that I'll briefly touch on is uh, the other day I did a call on what's going on with Twitter, and I, you know they were announcing that APIs were going away after the ninth. So um, today is the ninth, and right now things are still working. So, <laughs> yep. So. Maybe it's tomorrow things will stop working. I have no idea, but uh, um, 
I know you can still, so basically on Mastodon, I can both tweet and toot at the same time. So, well, not quite at the same time, but um, anyway, <laughs> but back in the good old days, they just called that bird poop. But uh, um, All right. Well, we're already coming up on the 4.30. We're going right <laughs> along here. Um, another thing I did want to mention is NVDA is now finally getting to the point where you can also view the contents of uh, links where you can see the HTTP and all that if it's a titled link. So I forgot the exact key command. I don't think it's been released yet anyway, so um, it's kind of irrelevant at the moment, but uh, NVDA is catching up to the other screen readers. So... And with voiceover, by the way, you can do a view shift U and see the exact path of a URL. So um, there you go. Ooh. Um, Where's that button? What? I do not know where the button is. Sorry there. All right, who has our next question? We take them all from how do I turn this thing on to, well, don't ask me anything about homebrew. I, I do <laughs> draw the line somewhere. Yeah, with, with the dog, how do I get rid of this stuff? I mean, there's Finder in there, but I don't use like the launch pad or whatever. Ah. I just want to clear it out. <laughs> so, the question? Yeah. how to clear yeah, out I the doc. So basically, when you get to an item in the dock that you want to get rid of, you use your context menu command or whatever that's menu command, VO shift M. Um, yep. And then you go to options and then remove from dock. So options is a sub menu and you right arrow into that sub menu and one of the options, and the options you'll see there is move, remove from dock and that will remove it. However, I find Launchpad pretty handy in the dock because if you put your focus on Launchpad in the dock and open the shortcut menu, you get a list of pretty much all the installed apps on your Mac. And you can open them without having to open the Applications folder to get to those so, apps, which then we'll that applications that's folder cool. stays open and is like okay. just there. But if you do it from the shortcut menu on the lunch bar item on the dock, the app just opens and you're not left with any. Mm. See, I just put all the apps that I want on the icons on the dock and then I rearrange the dock so that way. That's true. But, you know, they come in the order there's things I want. that you haven't put on the dock you want to open. Now, if you put it on the dock, it will not be in that context menu when you open, when you go to the um, launch pad and open the shortcut menu. Because anything on the dock, like mail or messages right. or anything like that that you've got on your dock will not be in that list of... That's actually of, good to know. So if you just you use an app very occasionally, you might not want it on your correct. dock. But you, okay, exactly. yeah. <laughs> that's good to know. Mm-hmm. See, I've been oh, a Mac user for 10 years. I didn't know that. Neither did I. That's kind of cool. You know, and I never really used it either. It wasn't until uh, not too long ago wow. it started showing up on the dock as one of the things that's on the dock when you get a new Mac. Um, it wasn't that way before. It was just there, and I'd open it, and it would be like this big screen that looked like your iPhone screen. And I'm like, well, this is nice. I can use first letter navigation to move around and find something I can arrow around or type the first couple letters. But again, once I open the program, that launch pad application is left open for me to go back to and close when I'm done with it. And once I recently discovered this um, shortcut menu way of accessing things, um, it's real nice. It's kind of like you can do the same thing with the system settings, formerly system preferences yep, yep. Uh, item that's also on the dock. If you go to that and open the shortcut menu, 
you can select what you want to access in system settings and um, just you can navigate by typing the first letter or the first two letters and then just either hit VO spacebar or the enter key and it will just open it straight away for you. All right. Yeah. Well, very good. Um, I'll tell you one thing I forgot to mention that I, w I meant to talk about on thir last Thursday's call you know, for new Mac users is um, so I didn't, I'll have to, I'm going to weave this into another call, but the three different type of app downloads that you have, because you've got your Mac store apps, then you've got the two different types you can download from the internet, and that is your DMG files and your PKG files. And the DMG files are the most annoying because you have to open it and then find the app and then move it to your apps folder and then run it. The PKG, I think you can just run from anywhere. And um, the App Store apps just automatically go into your apps folder. So a little uh, tip there for new Mac users is um, there are three different t types of app downloads you can have for your Mac. All right, who is next? Just a word on those DMGs. There, when you open a DMG, it puts a volume on your desktop. Sometimes those volumes will automatically open to a little window where you find that app. Other times you have to navigate to the desktop, find the volume that it's put on the desktop and open it from there. Sometimes you need to do that extra step, sometimes you don't. And for a non-sighted user who's not expecting different behavior it can mess you around a little bit so just yep beware of that and it's a it'll show up as a finder item so if you go to your finder and do vof2 twice and it shows you a list of finder items you can find it in there and then when you're done you have to eject it to get rid of it off the desktop oh, yeah. Uh, okay yeah all right there you i always go. to look into how you get rid of those from the desktop so yeah uh, eject command yeah. e yeah, so, Brad, I actually had a question for you. Are you still teaching your class with the New York Library or whatever that is called? Not right now. Oh, okay. Uh, good question. We have, they like to mix it up. We did it last spring. We did not, they, they do quarters. We okay. Spring quarter, summer quarter, fall quarter. We did it in the spring, not in the summer. I did it in the fall, but it was only eight week. I'm not going to do that again. There's too much to cover. Yeah. Uh, and we're not doing it now. And we will have our um, spring uh, planning meeting sometime in early March. The spring quarter begins in April, April, May, June. Oh, okay. And we will probably um, do it again then. I've already had several people ask about it. What we are doing that we started this one, they do um, help sessions. They do like on the first Saturday. Oh of each month they do an, a beginner and then an intermediate iOS help session. They also do one uh, for Windows screen readers. So I suggested that we start one. Got to be careful what you suggest because that means you're <laughs> going to be doing it. Yeah. Um, that we do one for Mac. So we are doing one. Okay. On the fourth Saturday, it is at 3 p. no, 2 p.m. Eastern. It's uh, anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours, depends on how many people are there asking questions. We did our first one on January 28th. I wasn't able to be oh. there. I was out of town, so my uh, co-volunteer at the library, Brian Fischler of the That Blind Tech Show podcast, took care of it for me. Our next one will be on Feb Saturday, February 25th. And again on March 25th, and I'm hoping that this will be an ongoing thing after the spring quarter. And we will In make sure that to, people we'll ask you some. Again. Well, we'll make sure that somebody asks you a good old-fashioned audio hijack question. Yeah, well, I, know. I, may, I, I just wanted. I may to or may not be ready for that by then. I just wanted to be aware of because I know you do yours and we're getting ready to start up the iBug class, but right. sometimes timing and things uh -huh. doesn't work out for people to take the 
iBug class and there's a bit yeah, more requirements. Yeah, you stay away so, from the iBug class. I understand so, that the teacher's assistant is a real jerk. Herbie. So but, I am trying to be aware of other resources out there. Yes, now mm-hmm. you can talk. I know. I'm one, telling one you. One thing you can club. do is mm-hmm. if you go to the website, it is the, for the lib- NYPL. Uh, they have a Andrew High School Braille and Talking Book Library. It's actually a branch in Manhattan. Uh-huh. If you go to the website, talkingbooks.nypl.org, uh-huh. you, can, you can see all kinds of stuff about what's going on. Okay. Both, both physically at the library and the online classes. They do in-person classes on um, different days. Uh, but uh, you can sign up for an email, announcement-only email list. It's pretty low traffic. And you will get emails that alert you to different things that they have going on. So okay, it's a good resource. Definitely. All right. Sounds good. It does. All right. So who is next? Who has our next question? Otherwise, I have a demo for you. They're busy also. going to the library's website to sign up. Hmm? They're busy. Nobody's responding when you say any more questions. So they're all on the <laughs> Yeah, right. All right. Well, we'll see if the library teaches this one because I'm going to oh, give you all a brief overview of focus modes and how particularly. I thought you've done that in this club already, just I did? not on iBug. Okay. Did I go over a cu- how you can set a custom focus? I think so. Uh, I no, don't know. Not, not a, cus- a, a scheduled focus. Hmm. Who knows? I mean, you, you, you're well. I mean, you can do it again well, if people no, want. No, I don't want to do it again if I already did it. That's why I was asking. I don't remember. All right. Well, I won't do that one. Uh, let's see. If, what? if I could follow up on something that we actually talked yep. about in another group a couple of days ago. Chanel and I were, and I believe Herbie too, we were discussing the send later yep. feature of mail. Yes. I, my wife overheard us <laughs> talking about it. And she informs me that she is able to schedule mail to send later on her Mac and then close the mail app. See, and that's what says, I think mine did. I think it did send what, even though the mail app was she closed. She says it sends because she likes okay. to send out these announcements. She sets them for 4.30 a.m. because she does a group and she's got people – in the Eastern time zone and all over. So 4.30, got to get them at 5.30. So when these early birds check their email, they're there. <laughs> yeah. And um, she's got one scheduled to go out tomorrow morning, as a matter of fact. So oh, she nice. wants, and she tells me, close the mail app. It still goes out, which is what it does on iOS. Okay. Right. Yeah. So I need to send myself a test email. And before I go to bed tonight, close the mail app, which I never do. <laughs> and then she says it'll be sent. Okay. Do I get as long as the Mac is ones. on, it doesn't matter right. if the mail app is open or All closed. Right. And that is a neat feature. Yes. I was I was wondering that. They, that's so cool that she could tell us definitely. Yep. Well, and... I want to get back to that. I know a lot of people in this room weren't involved in that conversation. But yep. there's a neat feature. It started in Ventura uh, on the Mac and in the recent update to iOS, it is the send later feature. Write an email. When you want to send it, there's a button in the toolbar of the Mac right next to the regular send button. You mean, like Chanel was saying, usually hardly ever have a reason to access the toolbar. Yep. But now there's a reason. Interact with the toolbar, then there's a button, send button group, and there's two buttons, send and send later. Activate send later, and it allows you to schedule when you would like this email to be sent. And it moves it to a send later folder. It's a local folder and on your Mac, and it will send it at the time you set. It's really cool. So now we just need Apple to figure out a way where you can use Time Machine to send an email backwards in time, so. (laughs) Yeah, whatever. You know. Be a little bit scary, really. Would that be progress going forward or going backwards? That's the mm. I don't okay, know. 
I don't know. I don't know either. Back, All right. Back, back, back to the Who show. has our next question? Uh, I do. All right. This, this is Sean Williams. So have you guys... Okay, so there are going to be some people in here maybe who don't, who are not YouTubers, but uh, are may, so you may not even open the camera app or you very rarely do this, but do, are, do you have you guys noticed a bug within voiceover within the latest update? Uh, that'd be 16.3.1, I believe. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. 16.3 um, is the latest update. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. 16.3.1 right, so is going to be coming out very soon. We're talking about the so. iPhone here, not the Mac, just so I'm correct. Same yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. So, um, when I press the side button to record a video, it will sometimes make the sound, but it won't. Um, but it's not actually recording a video that I can see. And so when I, when I double tap on record video with voiceover, it doesn't do anything. I have to turn voiceover off and then I can press the side button and it actually starts recording the video and then you can press the side button and it stops recording the video. So Apple's already aware of that, but Open I was camera. wondering if you guys knew about that. No, I haven't. I haven't had a chance to notice that. Hopefully they'll okay, fix it. Okay, just took a picture release. that I didn't want it to take, but oh, okay. Oh yeah, photos. Po fo photos work. But if you, if you go to video. All right, so I'm on video. Oh, it just started recording as soon as I switched modes. It may have. If you press if you press okay. it again, what happens? And so now, so it's recording right now. Oh, and I hit the volume button, up button, and it stopped the recording. Okay, video number two. Yep, it is recording. Okay, yours does that. Okay, button. yours were... That's interesting. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just a little fluke within some... Yep, what, my what side iPhone button do you have? Too. Sorry? Uh, iPhone 13 Pro. Okay, I've got a 12 Pro Max. But I don't know why that would matter. All I know is I've got a bunch of videos I'm going to have to get rid of now. But uh, yeah, it is definitely like working for me. So. Okay, thanks. All right, so pretend we're like iBug. Okay, we're going to reserve the last 15 minutes now for your iPhone-related questions. So... Uh, um, because you know how you know they reserve the last few minutes for a clubhouse related Club. question. That's an interesting idea. That is an interesting idea. Okay. We'll we'll start being nice to people. <laughs> um I said no. Um all right, who is next with a Mac or iPhone question? Can the Mac or iPhone make me dinner? No. <laughs> no. I wish you could. <laughs> Well, theoretically, I guess if um, you had it hooked up to a smart kitchen, it could. All right, who's next? Yeah. Oh, can you hear me? Uh, yes. Harvey? Oh, Meryl. Yes. Hi. Yeah, because I was on stage already, so I figured, well, I guess I could just unmute. That was my question. My question for Clubhouse and the iPhone is, if you're already on stage and I joined and the request to speak button is not showing up, I can just unmute like now and ask my question. I mean, that's what I was hoping. That's so, okay. Yep. Well, so again, different clubs will have some different policies about that. So you may not always want to, it depends on how the club is run for this club. We're very informal. Okay. So, um, but let's say if you go to the iBug Club, mm -hmm. um, they run things a little bit more formally than we okay. do, where you have to announce your name and be granted permission. Here, if I don't like you, I just mute you. <laughs> it's that simple. Okay, and I'm going to try Club Deck in the next couple of days, too. All right. That's so, cool. yeah. Um, but mm -hmm. one, but uh, otherwise, though, once you're on stage on a club, though, then, yes, you have the unmute okay. button. And if you unmute, then... You are her. The other thing to know with Clubhouse is if you are the first person brought up on stage, mm -hmm. you are automatically unmuted. And so then you would have to mute yourself. But if you're brought up, at, but if you're not the first person brought up on stage, then you're brought up muted. So, Oh, okay. Thank you so much, Herbie and Chanel. I appreciate both of you. And yep. Brad, thank you. And we appreciate and Brad. you for poor Brad. He's an ally. <laughs> thought. <laughs> no, sorry, and Brad and and Jane, I appreciate all of you. Yep. Thank yep. you. And by the way, folks, I just want to. 
And, and, you know, by the way, you know, again, if you're not part of the ACB club, you should check it out because you get access to a lot of community calls right there on Clubhouse. So if you are a smartphone user, especially those emails are a little bit fun to navigate. But on the phone, it just pops up right there in Clubhouse. So you can join in and have the same experience that you would have being on Zoom. So um, Meryl's finding out just how convenient uh, that can be. So. All right. All right. Thank you. Club Deck mm -hmm. is the new frontier. This is Eric. Yep. Eric, yes. Did they fix? There was a problem in iOS 16 where the send later. Uh, and you tried to schedule to send it's later. Not... Okay, good. Good. It was. But it that... used to not let you do that. That, that that's the only thing I do in this club. First, I let people. The first uh, release of iOS 16, you could not adjust the time to send nope. later. But right. I think in the second update, I can't remember if it's 16.1 or 16.2. 16.1. They fixed it pretty quick. So good, good. Oh, good. That's it good. works good. That's good. Nice. Very well. Nice. Cool. Most of, I, I must admit, though, like, you know, that's uh, it's not a feature I don't know that I'd ever use, I guess, if I really... Wanted to, well, when you want to be all snazzy and professional and you've got, uh, you know, like 20 email that you are sending out a form letter to 20 people and you want them all to get the email at the same time. Then, no, yeah. they can all get it all the night before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can get it. Uh, uh, you know, who cares? When they get, if they get it a little bit early, so what? So. Um, <laughs> all right. And if they get woken up because it's three in the morning, well, maybe it'd be a good lesson to you. Don't have your mail client open. Okay, who is yeah. next? <laughs> With a Mac or iOS question. Yeah, how do you stop the stream after it's done? <laughs> Command R. <laughs> okay. Command R will both oh, stop right. and start your stream. Good question, though. Um, the trick is finding a spot to stop it and not cutting anybody off. That is the yeah. trick. Yep. That's always fun. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Brad and uh, Jane Sa are becoming uh, streamers rapidly here, so we're we're increasing our streaming capacity here on ACB Media. Well, no, on ACB Presents, so though, Jane, it'll be easy to find the stopping point because generally. The facilitator says bye, and then there's usually a couple seconds before the host and facilitator say they're ending their respective rooms. If you so do it's use Club Deck, couple seconds silence. Go, okay, uh, all right, so Eric, go ahead. No, I was gonna say if you do use Club Deck, you can record the room itself just with Club Deck. If you're not on Zoom at the same time, but I'm guessing y'all use Zoom too. Yep. For the so ACB stuff. So one of the stuff? things we do in ACB is we connect Zoom and Clubhouse. So I got you. And we also stream on ACB Media so people can listen live that way for some got of the it. calls. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. So, um, I was going to say, yes, if you were just you using can. Club Deck, you can record the room on Club Deck. Yeah, you, you can record the room on Club Deck if you want mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. um, and actually did it. It sounds pretty good, actually. Yep. Hmm. Okay. I did, oh, I did it, it once with it. somebody. If we know how to do three things, they're going to ask us to do watch. Do all what? three. They're going to ask us to broadcast and stream and moderate. Yep, I can't wait for the day when they ask us to broadcast, moderate, stream, and host. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that one. Because that'll be fun. You know, I, I, you know I, part of me would love to try moderating and hosting at the same time, you know, just to see if I could do it. But that would depend, to, but, but to be fair, that would depend on the call and the amount of participation on both sides. Um, but... Uh, Yes, we do. Most of us, we do moderate, broadcast, and stream because there's usually not much participation on the clubhouse side anyway. So, um, there you go. Oh, no, even better. I could host, facilitate, moderate, broadcast, and stream. Do all five things at once now. No, no. even that would be too much. Yeah, it, it would be. I. Even, I mean, I could do it if I had to. I'd rather, well, not with a cooking call. I take that back. I definitely no. could not. But. No, no, doing that with a cooking call, which I come which I come in on every time you have it. But it's a great thing. But 
doing that with a cooking call, I think that might be a little too hard. That that what that would be a little bit too hard. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. That. But yeah. That, that that would be a bit much. Okay. Does. I don't want to block in the room. All right, so who has our next Mac or iOS question? Let's talk Mac or iOS. Yes. Yeah. Herbie. Yep. I was going to say, make a joke that you can use the, um, maybe eventually use the chat GB, GPT to do all that stuff, like broadcasting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could, yeah, I should have Chat GPT facilitate a call for me. You know, yeah, it's really get it right. <laughs> yep, I knew you guys There's would some appreciate false information that. In there. Yeah. yeah, thank yeah. you. Oh, I'm looking yeah. forward to that panel on I it know. next week. That would be great. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, so is that panel going to also include the eleven labs, or is that just going to be on Chat GPT? Uh, I think it's just GP, sure. not B. That's what I said. Is P? Okay. <laughs> I think just. I, I'm not sure. I don't. Eleven Labs. What's that? So they now, and a lot of people have been playing with this, especially in Mastodon. And um, basically, you can put a sample of a voice in there, and oh. it can recreate it and make it say something else. And make improvements. Oh, is that what Michael was doing the other oh, day? Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And so, but, so it's been, it's been, there's already been a controversy, though, which I must admit, I'll, I have an interesting opinion on. Be, but, um, because, you know, a lot of people have used it for interesting things like improving synthesizer voices, like Microsoft Sam. Right. Mm -hmm. But then the controversy has come over, you know, is it okay to use it on a dead person's voice? <laughs> Oh no. 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 And I, you know, the way I see it, I mean, I, because, I mean, for me personally, I have no problems accepting that somebody is dead. They're not going to come back to life. So it would not creep me out personally. Like, I know that the, if I, or if I already know that the person is dead, and I think, <laughs> my, I, right now, at least, the technology is good enough that you can, if you pay attention, you can tell that the voice is synthesized. So I think I would still tell a synthesized person trying to talk to me versus a real person. Right. Now, which conversation would I enjoy more? That's going to depend on the person. But um, but you could look at it in one of two ways. One, it is, it, I mean, it can be used for nefarious purposes, and that would definitely not be a good thing. But setting that aside, one, yeah, it could definitely really spook people out, especially if you do have different beliefs that uh, you believe if you know if you do believe in ghosts and spirits the other thing though is you could make the argument that you're preserving their memory and memorializing them because they can still live on mm -hmm. by what you can do with their voice so i think there's two different ways you can look right. at it and i think it really boils down to who's doing it and why are they doing it, doing it. And, 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 that, and that's just my opinion on it. And, you know, I, I can really see why you, you would definitely want to be careful with something like that for sure. But uh, it's really interesting. It's I, I find it, it's it's really interesting what they are people you can do with the technology. Because I mean, do you realize there is not the potential, though, to... I mean, you know, another good use out of it, or maybe a bad use, I don't know. Let's say you have a loved one, and we get to the point that, that you've lost, and we get to the point where you can use a person's voice as a screen reader. I mean, that... Wow, that was... <laughs> that would be uh, no, just no. <laughs> no. You know, you wouldn't, it's something you wouldn't want to force on somebody else, but it would be, it, it could be useful, to, interesting to have that as an option if right. a person wanted. Right. You know, that's all I'm saying, and... Yeah. You know, yeah, but plus uh, technology is always improving, so yeah, maybe and, and, and nothing wrong with live people's voices as screen readers either. I'm not saying, you know, no, yeah, I mean, yeah, so maybe I'll have Meryl as a screen reader. Do you want to be oh. my screen reader? <laughs> let, let, all right, so, 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 Meryl, can you say welcome to Mac OS? Uh, I'm sorry, my uh, phone's oh, talking Mac. to me. What did 
What oh, did you say? I said, l- let's hear you say, welcome to Mac OS. Login this items displayed. Oh, okay. Welcome to Mac iOS. Login items displayed. Oh, we're going to put the dictionary manager on you. It's Mac OS, not Mac iOS. But... Oh, I'm sorry, Mac OS. <laughs> Never mind. You're fired. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. See, wait a minute. That's like chat, chat GTP. It's inaccurate. Exactly. <laughs> all right. See, yeah, there's no difference between oh, the humans and the bots dear. after all. Oh. <laughs> oh, Herbie, all right, guys. Herbie. So next week, we're going to be over on the ACB Club. Mm-hmm. And Darcy, our, yes, our very own Darcy Bernard, who is uh, not only now a valued ACB community member, but he is also a longtime Mac user and a uh, host of Mac Accessibility and uh, is also making an appearance on that Mac Bytes oh, with Bits tonight rotating as well. Rotating co host of Mac Bytes with Bits as well. Yep. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But he is going to talk to us about shortcuts from a Mac perspective. Yay. And yep, so he's he talks to us about shortcuts from an iOS perspective primarily every Monday. And definitely check out that call too. That's both on Zoom and Clubhouse, but I invited him to talk to us strictly from a Mac perspective. So um I'm very curious to see how that turns out. If uh, we use it, if it goes over everybody's heads, I don't know. Um, but uh, that's going to be next Thursday. That's uh, again on the ACB Club. So, but if you're following me, you'll see it pop up anyway. And if you're not, well, then maybe you want to do that. I don't know. But uh, or at least follow the ACB Club, and you will see it pop up. And of course, it'll also be on Zoom and uh, ACB Media, all that jazz. I want to thank everybody for coming today. This is your last call for questions. All right, hearing none, we will be back, like I said, shortcuts next Thursday, then open Q&A the following week, and I don't know what I'm doing the following week. Oh, I think I'm going to do calendar and contacts, and maybe one or two other miscellaneous things that people don't use enough on the Macs, and they should. So, especially contacts, it can really make your life a lot easier, believe me. It's funny and, because I use my contacts more than my um, um, calendar events. I've started using the calendar a lot more lately because of Zoom. Um, yeah. Where it's a lot easier just to put some Zoom links that I know are not going to change in the calendar and get to them that way. So. Put them in the um, location and then you can just swipe down when you open it and it just joins. Well, you can't swipe well, I don't know if you can swipe down on the Mac, but... No, it's different on the Mac. Yeah. You have to VO to it, VO spacebar. Yeah, yeah you VO spacebar, then, and then you VO but command J to the if join. you put them in your calendar, they'll show yep. up on either device. Yep. But, you know, I put them in the calendar so they show up at the correct date and time for when I want them to show up, so... Provided you put it in correctly. Yeah, and that's what I was going to do, is show people how to put it in correctly, so... So that's in the. F- I was in Virginia yep. the other day, and I was putting in my ACB assignments for the week, and I'm looking at the schedule, and of course it tells me what they are in Eastern time, like always, and I'm used to subtracting an hour, and I had to remember, don't subtract an hour. Yep. That was that'll cause you a problem all week long. You'll be late all week long. No, yep. you'll be early. Well, guys, Valentine's Day is next week. And, of course, if you want to get me any Valentine's Day gifts, there are some brand spanking new Macs out there. Chocolate's good, too, but, you know. (laughs) Um, But, you know, and then a a, a M2 uh, Pro Mac Mini with uh, 16 gigs of RAM and preferably a 2 terabyte hard drive. I'll settle for the 1 terabyte, but... uh, Well, as long as I use your credit card, it's fine with me. (laughs) (laughs) Well, terabytes. After all, you gave me your credit card number the other day. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Go go try, go try it out on yourself and see how it works. Let me know. (laughs) Yeah, right. Oh no. 
no, I was so, so what fun. what a lot of people do on ACB presents is so unless maybe either a they do have inside knowledge. I'm guessing they don't. So they are already raising their hands before they even know what the question's going to be mm -hmm. in I mean, anticipation. I, I understand that. <laughs> So I was like, why don't you at least, I mean, I understand, like, I mean, sometimes I'll do that because I actually want to announce my call. I don't really know if I, oh, sure, if I can, but, yeah. but most of them, it's not that. So it's like, you know, I said, well, everybody anticipating the, since they're so eager to ask the, answer the question before they even know what it is, you should uh, give them a trick question. Like, what is your credit card number? It should be like Jeopardy, the raise hand feature is disabled until the question has been completely oh, yeah. raised. Uh -huh. Oh, there you go. Oh, hey, well, that's that not does not fun. work until they finish <laughs> Actually, reading the question. Bad. Oh, hey, somebody better give that idea to Cindy. No, oh. Harvey, we don't want to do I, I would be, I, uh, well, I can't veto, but I, I don't like that idea. <laughs> we want to see the enthusiasm. We want to see, you know. Well, that's true, you know. Yeah. So. I don't, well, like I said, I, I, Brad's approach is nicer than me. I would just say, all right, everybody, welcome to ACB Presents for blah, blah, blah. And today oh, I see that up. we've already got to see hands out there. So let's get started with our daily question. And just it is simply the question this. off and just hear what the answers are. <laughs> what? <laughs> no need to ask. The hands are already up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. Yeah. What is the question? Yeah. What, what is, is the question? question? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's that's a good idea. I, you, somebody should do that. <laughs> no. Answer. Answer. Oh, to God. answer the question. The, yeah. the problem is, is the facilitators, the the panelists, starting to know what the question I know is. They so do. that's the only yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. But we would, yeah. If somebody wanted to be really pissed now, we, we that would be. That would oh, that would be a riot! Oh my god! Oh, all right, guys. but yeah. Otherwise, my solution would be: What is your credit card number? And uh, <laughs> I will give my answer last. So, who wants to go first? Anybody? Yeah, right. Wow! Wow! But well, you've already stated your 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 card number over the ACB media in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Merle. I'll repeat it for anybody that missed it. It was four 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 four. Expiration date is four 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 four, and the CVV is four four four. Actually, the expiration date could only be four of forty four, unless you want to make it all the way of. You know, so it, yeah, true. So four forty four to them, okay, or so. zero four four four. Nah, four forty four. We don't want that zero in there. Yeah. Yeah, they don't issue them that far <laughs> out, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> all I can say is I hope they let you join ACB Presents from Jail. <laughs> you give that a try. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Debtor's yeah, prison might fun. not be so bad. They, you might get lucky and you'll be in a low-security prison, but uh, oh, I, I'll just say this much. The, the ACB, I, I am confident in saying that ACB Presents does not accept collect calls. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we're dear. having too much fun. I just love this. <laughs> I can just see it now. Okay, let's go to our next raise hand. Uh, area code 515, blah, blah, blah. Please speak. You have a collect call from oh, a correctional well. facility. <laughs> <laughs> so just let me don't acknowledge the strange phone numbers you see him. Well and yeah, actually we have seen a couple like I think somebody said the other day they saw a twenty eight digit phone number or something. Oh wow twenty digit I don't remember. Oh, somebody whoa. could have been calling from another country. Another That's country, what we thought. yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, Sandra, for instance, actually does oh, yeah. call in sometimes. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. So if it, um, if you see four four, for instance, that's a UK. <laughs> that's the country code. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Um, on that note, I don't know what you're gonna get over the next week when you tune into a ACB presents, but just remember, you, if it <laughs> works out, you heard it right here. If it did not, I'm denying it. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All dear. right. Um, 
And uh, with that, don't forget, guys, also another important date to remember this Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday. And uh, Eagles and the Chiefs. You have a number of ways of watching or listening. If you have a TV provider, you can go through the Fox Sports website. You can also use sites like SiriusXM mm -hmm. if you have a subscription with them. Yeah. And um, somebody that... just never likes to end his calls. I'll never, I won't be watching. You won't be watching. Well, I won't be nope. watching either because I can't see. Well, I won't oh, be watching. Oh, I don't. Need, I don't care for sports, so I won't be there. Oh, okay. All right, let's get him gone. With that, this is our final. Well, we we don't have a strict end time, so this is our final call for an emac related question. Well, we've got. You've got. That's not till five forty five. So. Yeah, but there's dinner. Oh what yeah, about dinner. It? Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, you guys got to eat. Minutes. I know Chanel's hungry. Yeah, I do actually need to forget them. All right, goodbye to a lot of you. Them. <laughs> All yeah, right, so, you, so thank you, thank so you. so Jane, so real quick, guys, in all seriousness, so Jane said, don't forget it's Command R to end the room. You can either end it, you know, after I end Clubhouse or right before. It doesn't matter to end the stream, not the room. Command wow. R to end the stream. Yeah, Command yeah. R to end the stream yeah. within a audio I, audio hijack. The room on Club yeah. Deck. No. So close the room. Close um, the room. And then Command W will close out the uh, session in the window, and then we will. I'll yeah, talk I to you about like five times earlier today. Well, because you kept to, well, what, what, if you close not. out all the sessions, nope. really? I closed them all out last time. Huh. They're all over there. I don't know what's up. Didn't you have sure to delete you... them from the session list. I was going to say, make sure you're also clearing <laughs> out your session list with doing a select all with Command A and then Command Delete. I'll look at that. All right. Yeah, it was weird to me too. The menu? <laughs> the menu bar? No. N no. Figure it out. It just when you close out the window, pay attention from when it says audio hijack session list. Mm -hmm. And then, so then you'll see your list of sessions. And then, so if you do a command A to select them all and then a command delete, that'll get rid of I'll them. Do that. So. I'll look for it. And also, after I did command W about five times, I did. The program was open, and I had to do Command Q to close the program. It didn't do that yes. the other day, did really? like it should. Anyway, I gotta go, folks. I'll tell you next time. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Bye. Well, we'll see you next time, guys. Okay. okay. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 Thank you.